be located on the lions, the Nguhuma lions, who have been MIA for the past couple of days. And uh, obviously there was a sighting this morning just uh, as Tristan was trying to relocate on uh, the lions for the second time. In between that moment, uh, one of the Nguhuma lionesses, we suspect the youngest one, uh, actually walked across the road with one cu very young cub and she had another one in the mouth. So that makes two new little Nguhuma cubs. However, one of the other guides from Elephant Plains, he said that she then came back and she was contact calling again. And myself, Tristan and Sebastian actually went out after game drive and as we were approaching the same spot where he'd left them, that lioness was coming back from the, the obviously the den site. So we wonder if there aren't more cubs. And obviously because they're very young, they're potentially anywhere between two and three weeks old, so quite tiny still. Not able to, you know, follow mom, but really still relying on her quite a bit. Uh, we wonder if she hadn't gone back to go and fetch the others. Now, I went and I went back and they were laying on Triple M on the road in the shade, and they looked like they were getting to move. A couple of the lionesses were standing up, sort of stretching, and, and then one lioness got up and started walking in the drainage. Now, in order to be able to establish where exactly the den site is, well, I had to go in and follow her. So I kept my distance, and we followed her, followed her, followed her quite far off the road, which I'm really happy about, because Triple M is a very, very busy road. So she's quite far in the drainage line, and she went and underneath a gardenia tree which we could not see anything else after that and she sat under there we did hear a couple of little contact calls so I didn't really get to see how many little ones were there now unfortunately as we were sitting there I was trying to hear and trying to see if I could see any movement through the overhanging tree the rest of the pride arrived so we've actually had to completely close that area off because those cubs are very young to sort of be viewed just yet and also because it is so thick and these cubs are obviously very new they've only obviously been recently introduced to the pride it's important that we give them a bit of space turn a bit of time out so they can sort of establish what's going on over there so we're going to be chatting uh, to obviously Rex and Aubrey and Taxon over the next few days because the den site is on Juma so they will de dictate as to how the sightings are going to be run but lion cubs unlike leopard cubs they actually habituate so quickly to the vehicle and could you right now you could even have one car there and you'd have to be a little bit quiet but they'd be used to the sound of your voice they wouldn't really mind the car turning off and starting too much it would take them probably a few days to get used to the cars it's pretty amazing how quickly they habituate to things leopard cubs a little bit later but we also don't want to push the boundaries and it's important that we give uh, and we respect these animals but how awesome is that the Nkuhuma pride continues to grow so I suppose our little um, uh, racetrack loop that we're going to be doing this afternoon um, maybe we can do ourselves a challenge maybe we'll see how many different types of birds occur in a small area we'll have to try and map it out maybe I'll put my GPS on my phone and figure out how uh, how big that sort of round route is and see how many bird species or so we can get in there or how many different herds of elephants come through just until we can get this gremlin problem with Wendy all sorted but I